Okay guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create rendered images. Rendered images is something different that we can do instead of taking screenshots. So the first step that we want to do before starting anything is making sure that our part is complete, that we have added fillets, that we have changed the colors or materials to what we need, and that we have the proper textures. Once that is done, go up to your tabs and change over to environments. From here, click on Inventor Studio. If you're just looking for a simple rendered image, you can go up here to where it says render image and click on that. That creates just a plain looking image. The one thing that we can change is the light. We can choose a bunch of different lighting styles that would give us different points of different that would give us different lighting points as well as different types of shadows. The first one that I'm going to try, I'm just going to try a uh, grid light. That's something like what we have here in this classroom or in any, you know, industrial setting. Then we can switch over to output. We don't have to change anything here. And then I want you guys to change render by iteration and change it to 64. Once you have that, change your lighting and material accur accuracy from high to draft, and that will increase the speed at which things are, are done. Then you're going to choose your image filtering, and we're just going to go with Gaussian and just leave it at standard 3.0 width. Now click on render. Now what is happening here is it has taken just our regular part and turned it into something that looks more natural, that looks more real. It has the proper lighting, the proper shadows and everything looks like it's something that exists in real life rather than on inventor looking very plastic now that it is done we're going to go up here and we can save our rendered image wherever you guys want to save that now if you want something a little more detailed we can go ahead and close this and we can add our different cameras so we can go ahead and click on camera and we can choose different features to look at. So I want to click right here on this and then move my mouse or my cursor out and basically it's like if we're moving a camera away from the object and it's following just a path like so. So I'm just going to click a random spot like this and then I'm going to change it from our regular orthographic view over to perspective and this will give it a more natural feel, a more natural look. I'm not going to really worry about zooming in, um, depth of field, you guys can play around with that but I'm just going to leave it plain just for now and I want to say OK and then render this image changing my camera from the current view to camera 1. And now this is what we see right here. We can move it around, but that won't change how the camera is looking at it. And we can say render. Now you want to do this when you have something that you specifically want to feature. For example, if you wanted to feature these fillets a little bit clearer, if you wanted to feature welds, if you wanted to feature folds, or feature something that was more interesting than something else. Now rendering this way does take a little bit more time because we are closer to the object and we are seeing the reflections, we are seeing the different light sources and all of that. But in reality it's not going to take that long. It's only going to take about 30 seconds and we are done. All right. One of the other things you can do is we can change our camera. So if we like the where the camera is looking, 
but we want to change where the camera is positioned, we can go over to our browser bar, right click on our camera, and um, click the plus sign, and then right click on our camera, and go to edit. Now, we can click on the camera and we can pull it up, and it's still looking at that feature, and we can move it in, we can move it left or right, and it's still going to look at that one thing. So let's go ahead and leave it here, and we can say OK. And now this is what we would see. We can go ahead and render this. And we can change outputs, rendering, we can do all of that. I'm going to change the lighting style to something else. Let's try old warehouse. Okay, and this is just just a random warehouse or random light source. Now, like you see how there is a an image next to each thing. That doesn't necessarily mean that's the scene that you're going to get because there are no scenes. That's just showing you what where that um, light source is coming from. So I'm just going to go to Old Warehouse and click on Render. And now the reflections have changed as if there is something above it. Okay. So you can see that things look way more natural, way more real than just our standard inventor screenshots. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.